what's cracking everybody? I'm Thomas, your friendly neighborhood bartender turned librarian here with Bartender Books uh, and hanging out on HD Liquid TV. Uh, and we are going to make a few drinks out of my favorite book by David Embry called The Fine Art of Mixing Drinks. We're gonna make a 50-50 Sazerac. I'll explain what all that's about here when I do it. We're gonna make a traditional daiquiri and not that frozen stuff you get at Fridays, which is still delicious, but this is gonna be a little bit more delicious. And then we have a Sazerac, which is New Orleans, you know, cocktail, uh, uh, New Orleans, uh, oh my God, sorry. Uh, New Orleans like main cocktail. It's like their namesake cocktails. Good stuff, get you wasted, you're good to go. So first things first, what I'm gonna do is get my drinking glass for my old fashioned. Now we're gonna make a black walnut old fashioned. Kind of different than what you're used to. I know there's a million videos on how to make an old fashioned, so I know you know what you're doing. So we're gonna make our own old fashioned with some black walnut bitters, a little bit more citrus than you're used to. It's gonna blow up in your mouth. It's gonna be delicious, I promise. So what I do first, I like to just ice down my glass. So we're just gonna dump that ice out. It can be any kind of ice, it doesn't have to be the fat, you know, block of ice that you get in pretty pictures. You can just be regular ice, ice on your glass, chill it out, you're good to go. So, first things first, you wanna take two orange peels and two lemon peels. And we wanna get that zest out of there. We wanna, we wanna extract the oils from these peels. So we're gonna do a little pinch pinch into our mixing glass and just drop it in. We're just gonna pinch, we're just gonna drop. Next. We're gonna take some delicious Texas rye whiskey, kind of proof. We're gonna add two ounces of uh, our rye into our mixing glass. And I'm really not a fan of the sweeter drinks, uh, unless I'm sitting on a beach somewhere, you know what I mean, with like a bunch of candy stuff around me. <laughs> but uh, if you like it a little sweeter, I would add a little bit more than a quarter of simple syrup, which is just equal parts super fine sugar and water. Uh, right now, I'm just adding a quarter of an ounce, but if you want a little sweeter with the 100 proof rye, I'd add up to a, like a half an ounce. So, just about a quarter ounce of simple syrup. What do ya? After that, we're gonna do uh, one, uh, one dash of Angostura bitters, the stuff that you can find at Walmart, regular bitters. I did two dashes, just keep on your toes. We're gonna do two dashes of orange bitters. And we're gonna do one big healthy dash of our Fee Brothers Black Walnut Bitters. Uh, this stuff's potent, a little dash will do you. All right. After that, we're gonna ice down our mixing glass. And just get a little stir, stir, stir going, okay? We wanna ice down our drink, make it nice and cold and delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Smell it from here. I honestly can't wait to drink this. Okay. I think that's good. We'll actually give our little glass a stir stir here as well. Now we have a nice chilled glass. We have our nice big block of ice. And now we just pour over our ice, and that is our black walnut old-fashioned. Bright, citrusy, flavorful, nutty. And last but not least, what I wanna do is just add a little bit more zest on top, and we're just gonna, we're gonna pinch, we're gonna throw. We're gonna pinch, lemon, and throw. And uh, we're gonna garnish, since we have all that we need from our garnishes, with a little orange origami because I heard somewhere that if you add a little piece of origami fruit, you can like charge a million dollars for the drink. You know what I mean? Now it looks like a million dollar drink. All right, hope y'all enjoy. Yeah, I sure did, this is, this is good. Hmm, okay. Cheers. Next, we are going to make a classic daiquiri. So, First things first, we're gonna use our delicious Ron Zacapa 23 year rum. I'm so happy that I'm gonna use this, it's crazy. Um, this is just a simple three ingredient drink. And I think it's like on page 38 of Mixing Drinks. This is the first drink that I, that I looked in uh, David Embry's uh, Final Hour Mixing Drinks, just to see if I was making it right. So, three ingredients, rum, fresh squeezed lime juice, freshly squeezed in lime juice, 
and simple syrup. That's it, equal parts super fine sugar, hot water. So first things first, we're gonna add two ounces of our rum. And since it's COVID and you're at home, it's okay if you add three or four ounces, it's fine. I'm not gonna judge you here. We're gonna add three quarters ounce of our simple syrup. Again, I don't like my drinks too sweet, but um, you know, if you like sweet, I'm not gonna put my yuck in your yum, you do you. And we're also gonna do one full ounce of freshly squoze and lime juice. Bam. All right, so this is an easy drink to make and it's awesome. It's an easy drink to batch too. I'm not a math whiz, but I'm sure you can figure out how to batch this drink. We're gonna add our ice, give it a little shake, shake, shake. I always have to watch my shake face. Sometimes it's like, so like, I, you know, it is what it is. I got small for the camera stuff. All right. We shake, shake, shake. You see all that froth in there? It's good stuff. I don't know if you can see that, but I can see it. I'm about to taste it too. We have our delicious. Mm, 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 mm. I really am excited about this drink. <laughs> like I'm, I'm super excited. Thank you. Thank you, David. I'm really excited about this drink. So what I'm gonna do is just garnish it with a dehydrated lime wheel, but you can garnish it with what you like if you have some Skittles or gummy bears. All right. And uh, oh man, I didn't wanna like mess with it, but like y'all enjoy. All right. All right, and our last drink is gonna be the Sazerac. This is gonna be a little more labor intensive, but trust me, it's worth it if you get it right. Um, or even if you get it wrong, <laughs> it's delicious stuff. So what we wanna do is first things first. If you do not have ab have absinthe around, just lying around your house, I used Wormwood Bitters uh, from Cocktail Kingdom. This stuff is delicious. Uh, the guy that owns Cocktail Kingdom is awesome. I mean, I just, you know, he, I, I got this and uh, this has an anise, almost like a licorice flavor, which is essential for the Sazerac. In fact, it's the main component. So what I did was poured a little bit of this into an atomizer or a little spray bottle if you have one at home. Uh, you don't need all this expensive equipment. You can literally just pour a little bit into your glass, swish it around and throw it out or take a shot, doesn't matter. So, spritz my little absinthe glass. First things first, it is a 50-50 Sazerac, which means we're using 50% of something and then 50% of something else. So, we're using 50% rye whiskey, which is about an ounce and a, and a quarter that we're using. I'm sorry, I was gonna say a half. About an ounce and a quarter of delicious Templeton rye. And we're going to use an ounce and a quarter of cognac, uh, better known as yak. It's delicious. Cavassier or Hennessy will do you. All right. And again, we are gonna use just a touch of simple syrup to sweeten up our drink. I'm using a quarter ounce. Again, if you want it a little bit sweeter, a half ounce will do you. But honestly, a quarter ounce will rock your socks off. Okay. Next, we're gonna add a little dash of Pace Shots bitters. Uh, this stuff is, you know, orangey, anise, you know, rhubarb flavored bitters. You can find it pretty much any store. So pay shots. That was a little old man on the front. Super awesome stuff. We're going to do four dashes of pay shots. And honestly, I like to do one dash of Angostura. One simple dash. And then two dashes of orange. Bitters. After that... We have our anise flavored glass. What we want to do is ice down our drink and give us a little stir, stir, stir. And while you're doing this, you know, you can talk to your friends. Oh, hey, how's your day? How's your girlfriend? Oh, he did what again, girl? So get that going. All you need is maybe 20 out or 20 seconds because we're not going to add any ice to this drink. Right, we already have our anise and wormwood in the glass, our glass just marinating there, waiting for its drink. So what we're gonna do is give this a little extra stir to make it extra cold, and then pour. So, we're there, we're there. 
Now, we pour into our little wormwood glass of delicious stuff. And we are going to garnish with a lemon peel, but I like to throw a little orange zest in this thing. So what we're gonna do is just pinch and drop, okay? After that, we can add our little origami garnish. And there you have it. Now you have a delicious Sazerac. Now you're an expert. Go read the rest of the book. Bye. All right, so I hope you enjoyed everything. Uh, you know, guys, please go to bartenderbooks.com if you want to learn more about cocktails. It is a free online resource for all things historical cocktails. Uh, there's a few contemporary books in there as well. Um, just drop by bartenderbooks.com. Let me see you. Let me say hi and uh, get your learn on. Also, if you like this video, go ahead and push that subscribe button. I don't know if it's at the top or bottom or on the side, whatever it is. Push that button because um, I'm awesome. I'm just kidding. I'm not that awesome. But but if you if you subscribe, then that, that would make me very happy and I might send you some money. I don't know. Let's, I don't know what the legalities are with that. But AC Liquid uh, TV, awesome. Thank you for having me. And um, I love you guys. Thank you for having me. Gosh, thanks. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Sorry, man. I'm, I'm out. <laughs>